Hey everyone, welcome to Chris's Corner, your home for fantasy talk, nerd talk, and everything across the spectrum. So today is July 4th. Happy 4th, happy July 4th, happy Independence Day, Feliz Dia de la Independencia. It's a celebration. The fireworks going off right now is actually late. Uh, so, uh, you know, estamos celebrando nuestra libertad. So we're just having fun today, just enjoying ourselves. And over the weekend and just uh, all this week, I actually got a chance to see two movie reviews. So the, I'm bringing two to you now. So the first one here is um, No Hard Feelings. And uh, my review, my take on that is... A six out of ten, and I'm gonna tell you why I gave that review to begin with. So, uh, I, you know, I went in it with expectations based off the trailer that the movie was actually gonna be, you know, a little, you know, a lot of little comical stylings here, and you know, jabs and hits here, and you know, some some of it was, you know, it was a few, I say, knee slappers here and there, but it was pretty mild manner, like I would say, watered down a bit, tad, a tad generic, to be honest. And, uh, I mean, I originally went to go see the movie because I'm a fan of Jennifer Lawrence for obvious reasons. But, um, you know, this wasn't one of her best takeaways, I'm going to say, as far as being an actress in a, in a film. This, uh, I'm going to stick with that number, 6 out of 10, because uh, I felt like it could have been better. This felt like the cheaper, more, uh, let's say, diluted version of something that they would have did with the very first American Pie movie. Uh, that franchise, and uh, it just, I they wouldn't, if there was a sequel to this, I would highly recommend not going to see it, because the first wasn't that good, not to really dump on a movie like that, like I said, it was, you know, it was an okay storyline, I mean, she started off as just a, you know, a regular person um, in their 30s, is just working right now, pretty much a millennial, and doing Uber driver, car breaks down, and she needs to get another car in order to start financing her life, and to keep the house and this ad pops up for these parents want her to date the younger son. And it, it it seemed like, hey, it was a good premise, it was a good story plot, but at the same time, when you just watch the movie from beginning to end, it's like, yeah, okay, but this is one of those things I could have watched on a streaming platform at my house, you know, just to save the money even going to the theater. So I'm actually going to go on to say that, yes, this film is not theater worthy. Um, and on top of that, like I said, there, you know, there's definitely jokes going back and forth and saying, but it just ended like your everyday, typical run of the mill, modern day movie. And, you know, I, I'm not going to spoil the end or anything like that. I do, you know, say, go out and see it. Let me know your thoughts and, you know, give it, give a review on top of uh, what I'm doing and let me know if I'm co incorrect or if I'm slightly off in my grading of the of the film, just let me know what you think and so we can compare notes and thoughts there. But that's my review for No Hard Feelings. So, yes, I would say that I do have some hard feelings because I went in with the expectation of, like, oh, I'm going to enjoy this. And, you know, I'm a fan favorite of Jennifer Lawrence. And it just it really didn't do it for me. So stay tuned. And, you know, like I said, comment. Let me know. Be sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching Chris's Corner.